Hi folks, we've got a little issue with this Mondeo Mark III Estate. This is a two litre diesel version. And the problem is, is that you can be driving along, you can be sitting in the car, and you'll hear the door, the rear tailgate click open. So let's have a look at this and see if we can try and solve this problem. Right, okay then, well I've done a little bit of investigation into this problem so far and I've actually realised that there's three possible causes to this. One is the switch that is inside on the dashboard, which is your auto release button. Two is the main door lock on the driver's side. And three is the actual handle mechanism on the tailgate itself. I've, I've eliminated two of these things. One is I've had a, a recent door lock fitted on the driver's door, which is the main controlling door that does all the other door locks as well, because I had an issue with the other door locks. Put a new door lock on there and that's actually cured the problem. Two, I've actually checked the switch on the dashboard which pulls out and I've actually checked that and that switch is fine because that can get stuck as well and cause this same problem. So that leads me to the final thing which is the actual handle switch. There's a little micro switch apparently which is quite known to fail quite often and I'm in the process now of taking the, the rear door in a panel apart so that I can get to that switch and maybe check it out and see what's actually occurring there to see if it's shorting out. So the first thing I've got to do is to remove this in the panel here now obviously this one's been off before as on the inside of the handles there as you can see there was obviously a screw on that one and obviously a screw on the other one which was actually not in here so it's actually been removed at some other stage and all I've basically done here you've got these two mechanisms that stick through the, the hole in the actual outside there and you've just got to prise these open and there's no more screws all the way around as you can probably see I've just pulled this down and what you've got is these sort of clip affairs that just push in to the actual inside of the door so you've literally got to be a bit brutal and pull the panel down and that's the stage I'm at at the moment and I've got one more clip here to come down I think let me put you back on the tripod and let's try and get this final one down I'm disconnected there we go right okay so this now hopefully should just ease out there we go that's just come straight out and as you can probably see there, those are the clips. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten plastic clips that hold that on, and them two screw fixings through there. So that's how we get that off. And that now means that I can see the uh, handle mechanism, which is up here, actually. You can see this, the switch underneath the handle. It's not really a, a, a big pushing or a lever or whatever. It's like a rubber, a rubber seal there over the top of it. And it's probably just some sort of little micro switch there. So I've got to probably gain access from the back of that. And if I just look, show you on the inside, you can see there, there's the, um, there's the motor for the windscreen wiper at the back there. I might have to withdraw that and bring that out of the way. That's obviously fitted on by three bolts there. And obviously I can just uh, maybe undo that. It looks like I'm gonna probably have to remove this motor that's them three bolts there, that electrical connection there, and then we'll be able to see that motor a bit more. So let me take that off now. Right, so what you've got here is behind the handle now, you've got two 10 mil bolts, which you can undo, which I have done and that's loosen that off. I've pulled the plug out from there. That's the black plug that does the uh, micro switch for the lock mechanism. And what I've also done as well is I've removed these one, two, three, four bolts here. And what they hold on is this complete bar here. Because as I say, I've got to actually get in underneath here. So I'm hoping now that this will remove as you can see here and there's the actual switch mechanism as you can see in the actual handle there now I should be able to pull that cable through there but apparently this is where a lot of these switches fail because water gets in down this seam here and enters the actual micro switch in the handle here 
and that's what keeps um, opening the boot. So I can see looking at this, that this is actually soaking wet in there. So I'm looking pretty much convinced that the problem's going to lie in here. I'm gonna lift this up now and take this out now, this, this actual switch here. Right, okay, then let me just show you this. That cable which I showed you, which goes to the back of the, uh, the soft padded switch, that's it there. And if I go under the door here, it actually comes through and this is it on this little connector here so you can actually push that in and pull it out and now i can withdraw that switch and that should be out of circuit now so technically speaking if you haven't got one of these switches and it is proven to be the case leave that disconnected put it all back together and you should be still be able to operate your car lock via the key and probably the central locking as well There we go, there we go, just push that side in, push the side in and down, there we go, that should push out now, pull that right out of there like that, lift the other side of this and there we go, it's out. So here's our little switch and I can see that it's saturated, there's a couple of little um, lugs there that you can pull off that rubber cover there by the looks of it and I'm just wondering whether or not we can peel this off and just see what's going on underneath there right okay right well as you can see underneath here probably it is all wet and moist underneath there so I'm um, I um, definitely think this is the problem and the micro switch in fact I can see the actual switch is broken so that's just confirmed it there look can you see that's actually broken in half so this is obviously the problem there we go oh yep. there we go that's our problem that main bracket should be in one part there as you can see and underneath it that's the tiny micro switch and although the switch probably looks all right this bracket as you can see there is broken in half so I'll have to order another one of these off of the internet that will probably come with this complete switch and for the moment I'm going to leave this out of situ as I say um, out of circuit I'm going to put this back in because I want to create the waterproof seal still over the top I'm not going to put all that gubbins back in it's not really worth it so I'll order a new switch and um, then I'll put that back in and I think you'll find that will be the problem with this so I'm just going to put this back now and then we'll see whether or not with this disconnected whether that stops the, the automatic opening problem so let me put it back together and I'll see you in a minute <laughs> Right, okay then, let's shut this down and hopefully it will lock, which it does. Now it's not going to operate off that switch anymore because we've disconnected it. So I'm hoping I should be able to stick the key in and still open it. There we go, which I can. So I'm just going to turn the ignition on now, start the car up and see if it opens automatically. Wait there. Right, I've just pressed the button inside and it's opened it. But 
as for the opening lock, lock automatic opening, as you can see, the thing is actually staying shut now. And I can open it with a key, so that's not a problem. I'm not worried about that little soft pad underneath at the moment because we're going to get a new one. But at least the car's not popping open now as I'm driving along or even sitting in traffic, it will just open automatically because of that broken lock mechanism. So you can either leave it out and then just use the internal opener like I'm going to do again. Look, locked. Push. Come back round to the back. And as you can see, it's open. So that's probably going to be good enough. And then shut it. And you know it's automatically locked. <sighs> right, there you go then. Although we haven't changed that electric switch, we've removed it, we've seen there's a problem with it, and we've now rectified the problem by basically just disconnecting it. And all you had to do really was just disconnect that little cable, as I've shown you, uh, without taking the switch off or the door off, if you've got a similar problem, and you'll probably find that that'll cure the problem. That is if you've also already checked that the switch inside is actuated okay, and also that your door mechanism, main door switch, Mine I know has been replaced. I replaced it with a second hand unit a few months back and I, I really was doubting whether that was the problem or not. But um, that's the problem. Water gets in through here, as I said to you, gets in there and it can get into your micro switch or it can either be broken as what I've just shown you there. Anyway, hope that was of some use for you and we'll see you again in our next vid. Thanks very much. See you again. Bye for now.